Another thing that stood out to me in the report was a section where they mentioned that antibiotics cause children to be more likely to develop ADHD. Specifically, they say that kids who take antibiotics in the first two years of life are more likely to develop ADHD. Do antibiotics really increase the risk of ADHD? Based on the current global evidence, I would say no. There's no conclusive evidence that antibiotics increase the risk of ADHD. The study that the MAHA assessment cited to support their claim, when I looked at this study, while it did find an association between antibiotic use in the first two years of life in ADHD, this study was conducted in a population of people only born in Minnesota. And so we cannot generalize that to the broader United States. That's to say things in Minnesota, like the weather or the food that people eat or the schools that they go through could all be very different from people born in California, New York, Texas, Georgia. And so again, we would need generalizable data, information from people who live in those different states states to make a claim about the broader United States. I did look at some studies from around the globe who asked the exact same question, and that led me to believe that the results are not compelling. One of the studies that I looked at was a study conducted in Taiwan in 2024. This study started with the population of Taiwanese individuals, and so this was over 2 million children that were included in the original study, and then from there, they looked to see which one met the study criteria of having received an antibiotic within the first two years of life and a later ADHD diagnosis or not. And they set their time between 2023 to 2025. They looked at a large population of people and they also looked over a long period of time. And what they found when they asked the question of is antibiotic exposure in the first two years of life associated with ADHD was that yes, it's associated, but it's very marginal. It was a very little increased risk. And this little increase increased risk was nothing compared to the risk of not taking antibiotics. Any of those other things that we use antibiotics to treat that make us better and healthier. And then another study out of Sweden that looked at twins to understand how the environment and shared genetics may play a role concluded that it was probably genetics in the environment that was confounding this relationship or blurring the relationship between antibiotics and ADHD, leading us to believe that there might be a relationship relationship when really there's not. And so I agree with the authors of this study that the associations that have been found in the past between antibiotics and ADHD are marginal and should never be used as a reason to discount an ADHD diagnosis or treatment plan. Or to to tell someone not to use antibiotics. Or to tell someone not to use antibiotics. (laughs) 